Hey, what's up, Diz? How you doing? Doing good. How are you? Doing great, bro. That's good. That's hey, I good. just wanted to take this quick time to do a little interview with you throughout your success or your uh, as you progress through your uh, rehabilitation. All right. Uh, I want to take a moment for you to share your story with individuals. So, what made you decide to attack a lot of things, uh, the other things I could have had that I missed because of my addiction, uh, lost my family and stuff like that, and uh, it, was, it was just time for a change, I'm getting on up in age now, you know, I got kids coming up, you know, starting to understand and see what's going on now, and so I feel it was time for me to take care of that. Right. So for one of the big parts of it was family yeah. and stepping up, right? Right. So what personally, other than your family, uh, motivated you as an individual? Because we know that uh, addiction is something that's, that's personal, yeah. that, that we go through as individuals. But uh, for you personally, what was, I, I really just what was your biggest hit? thing, the outpatient thing, mm -hmm. and um, you know, it was okay, but my mind wasn't set on it, so it was more like an ultimatum right. to go through that, you know, and you know, I was like, you know, I only had to probably do this certain drug, so I still do this and do that, right. which I still did that and that, and then back to doing the other drug, right. and um, it didn't help, but I did have, you know, uh, more of an understanding of what was going on. So whenever I made a decision and went to the inpatient program with them, uh, it helped me. You know, I understand, understood more, and I was all the way away from everybody. And um, you know, it just, just the scene change and the, you know, the better way helped. Right. Me. Uh, so you had to get yourself in the right environment. Right. 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 Okay. So, uh, how many days have you been sober now? A uh, hundred and thirty-seven. Beast mode. Proud oh, yeah. of you, brother. It might not seem like somebody that ain't never had a problem with addiction. Right. This was coming from somebody that had addiction for, I'd say, about 12, 13 years. You know, and it's 137 days of me actually wanting to, not because I had to, right. drug tests, and nothing like that. Right. So, shoot, I'm real proud about it. And look for more time to do it. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Ready for that uh, hundred and so days to turn into... 12, 13 years. Years, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'm waiting for But, um, so, uh, could you tell us a little bit about your story? Your, 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 your testimony, what have you? Well, I say it started when I was in school. Mm -hmm. Um, I was probably, about, yeah, when I got in high school, uh, Middle school and stuff was kind of hard for me, you know. I got picked on real bad and stuff. Uh, I was bullied and stuff like that. And I, I couldn't fit in nowhere. I didn't know, you know, what was wrong with me. You know, I was just being myself. Right. I'm always goofy and funny and stuff. Some people might call it weird, but uh, you know, I said I wouldn't go to high school and use my high school career. Yeah, I say career <laughs> as an opportunity to, you know, try something different. Right. Different people. Uh, I got with the different people, the wrong people, because I ended up doing drugs. You know, and, um, you know, it just started off with marijuana and stuff like that, you know, and, you know, just smoking here, not to school, before school. I started smoking in school, you know, shoot, that was senior year special. And um, after I got out of school, you know, I found myself smoking marijuana every day, and stuff like that. You know, there was one time I tried mushrooms, I did that one time. Uh, got on pain pills, that lasts about a year or two. And uh, on marijuana, and I tried out the pills and that cocaine come along. And that was the devil right there, because um, I stopped. I spent like two years and stuff just went by. Everything, you know, I shrunk real bad. If I was drinking, it was probably going to be high too. Jail time.
have nothing like that. And so me getting help wasn't nothing like uh, something I had to do because we put the system up. You know, me asking myself, wanting to do it. And um, you know, just knowing that you know there's a better way. Uh, the main thing, you know, getting off the drugs and alcohol is changing the people, place, and thing. Mm. You know, it, it, it's really important. You know, uh, I'm back here staying with my mom and stuff, but, you know, and I lost my job too. You know, my job, it uh, discontinued. Uh, it got shut down. Uh, it sucked, but uh, a lot of my addiction was happening at work. I was using drugs on the job, a lot of so I, I really got to see that as a blessing, right? Because, you know, I'm clean now, and, you know, the same stuff is going on out there, and, and I'm away from it. Right. And so, you know, wherever I go from here, can't be nowhere but up. That's right. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, so, what would be, who, who would have been, who was your best, biggest influence throughout the day? so many instances where I could have been killed. You know, I've seen a lot of people that have died. Right. You know, and I was, I'm just blessed to still be here. I just hope my story will be able to you know, help somebody else out. So what would you tell the young male or female that's struggling with addiction uh, and don't feel like uh, there's no way out or that no one can help them? What would you tell that person? What would you tell yourself five years ago if you could speak to him now? Stop. Stop. Get him. Call. Call the man. He doesn't know his help line. Something. Find somebody to talk to. They never just you know, Save one day at a time. And, uh, daily. Uh, sure, you know, one hour a day without using. You know, that's progress. You know, go half a day without using this progress. You know, just turn the days and days so on and so forth. Uh, just got to reach out and find help because it's out here available. You know, uh, a lot of this, this outpatient program I just completed, uh, I didn't have to pay nothing out of pocket. When I went to Wilmington, you know, that was, I had to, you had to have insurance for that. But other than that, and um, you doing? stuff, you got to have, you know, there's a lot of help. You just got to have insurance and stuff. And a lot of now you know, mom cares that everybody should have insurance. A lot of help out here, you just gotta look for them. Right. So, I'd like to tell you that uh, I appreciate your time. Man. I'm proud of you. More importantly, I'm proud because you're proud of yourself. Oh, yeah. Uh, keep going, keep moving forward, Pe keep becoming the greater man that you were meant to be oh, yeah. and the great dad that you are. Till next time, bro. Appreciate you.